morning children and welcome to Cove Kids Online. I'm Joanna. And I'm Andrew. And we're going to read you our story today, uh, which is all about a great party with lots of food. Mm. The Bible tells us it's important to take care of anyone who is poor or weak or helpless. We must show them God's love and care for them in any way we can. That's why it's important for us to support charities like Christian Aid and Tear Fund. One day, Jesus was invited to have a meal at the home of a very important Pharisee. Lots of rich people were there watching Jesus and listening to him. He told this story to the Pharisee. Oh, I like a good story. <laughs> a certain man prepared a great feast with lots of food. When everything was ready, he sent his servant to invite his friends to come. Wow, that sounds generous. How lovely. But everyone who was invited made excuses. The first person said, I can't come because I bought a piece of land and I need to go and see it. But you can do that in the morning. The next person who was invited at the last, at the, to the feast replied, I have bought five oxen and I need to see if they work as a team ploughing, so I can't come. What, in the evening? Another person who was invited said he couldn't come to the feast because he'd just got married. People were just too busy. Well, that's a fair reason, but he knew they were already back from their honeymoon. <laughs> the man was disappointed that his supposed friends had not rearranged their other plans to accept his invitation. He said to his servant, go into the streets and the lanes of the city and invite the poor, those with disabilities and the blind to my feast. Encourage them to come. There's plenty of room for everyone. So the servant went out and found so many, it filled the house and they had a great party and none of his so-called friends were there to enjoy that meal. So this story teaches us and tells us to, we need to take care of those uh, in our community who, who, who need our help, uh, those who are poor. Uh, and if we do that in the world, it's something that God likes us to do and he will bless us with many things. Well, yeah. we've really enjoyed doing these stories for Cove Kids Online. And mm. um, we, we look forward to being with you at some point in the building uh, when Cove Kids resumes. Yeah, we we'll look forward to reading you some stories maybe within Cove Kids and uh, sitting down with each other face to face. That would be lovely. So take care and God bless you all. Bye. Bye.